Parcel Orlando Resort on your typically cool Orlando afternoon. Thanks for joining me, Janet, here at Magic 107.7, and we have a very special guest. This entire weekend is all about Harry Potter and the celebration of all things Harry Potter, so you can't do that without some of the amazing actors from the films. Matthew Lewis is here with us. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Orlando. Thank you. I know you already said you've got a super busy day planned. Yeah, yeah, it's already started in earnest this morning, um, meeting lots of fans and stuff, and then we've got an action-packed schedule for the rest of the day. Are you going to get any time to actually enjoy Universal Orlando, or are you just going to be like, I mean, I come here all the time, so oh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's going to be all right. But um, I think there's a couple of times in the schedule that we can uh, slip out and maybe get on some rides. Do you have any favorites here? Well, then I've not ridden the Hulk since it's been redone. Oh, yeah. So that's quite exciting to go back on that. And, uh, Have you done Transformers yet? Yeah, done that. Yeah, that's always that's a winner. Very intense. I kind of like, I think the Mummy's actually my favourite. Mine too! I really like it. It's I like the inside and the fire, and like, yeah. it's like nostalgic for the films, which I hear they're bringing back with some groups. Yeah, strange one, that. Brendan Fraser. Yeah. Never, never, uh, never beat him. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm glad we were the like mind on that. So, um, I kind of grew up on the books. And I was more into the books that the films came along when I was a little bit older. Were you first introduced to all things Harry Potter through the books or through the stage plays or through the through the books? Um, I I think there was a, a book club at my school when I was very young, um, and I bought The Prisoner of Azkaban, which is the third one. Yeah. So I didn't read it. I just bought it because it looked quite good. <laughs> I, I heard a bit about it, and I just put it on a bookshelf. Didn't even like open it. And then I went round to a friend's house. I must have been like nine years old. Mm -hmm. And he was reading the second one. And I was like, I've come around to your house for a sleepover, and all you're doing is reading this <laughs> book. He like, couldn't put it down. Yeah, and uh, he said, well, the first one's on the shelf. Why don't you read that one? I was like, oh, read this stupid book. And I went over, <laughs> and it was, like, amazing. And then yeah. I just, you know, rattled through the rest of them then and waited, you know, queuing up in bookstores for the new ones to come out. And, uh, and that was me. And then uh, when the films came around, uh, I had already been acting for about six years. Mm -hmm. um, so... Did you remember having a love of the stories and of the books? Like from when you're first getting introduced to it, you're like, I really want to be a part of that because that's yeah. such a cool story. As soon as they announced that they were making movies, um, which was I think about at least a year before mm -hmm. any kind of casting for me, uh, as soon as they announced that, I was like, okay, I, I want to be in this. I need to be in this. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I was talking like in the background as a walk-on part. I never expected <laughs> to go and land a, a role with dialogue parts. and especially, you know, Neville Longbottom. So that was a real, uh, real shock. Now, my daughter is six. She's just now kind of getting into like, like things that aren't cartoons, like real actors and like real movies and stuff like that. How do you think the books and the movies are going to hold up for her like a couple of years from now when she's that kid picking up that first book? It's an interesting question. Um, we kind of, even in the early days, we did the first two movies and we, we never expected this to do all seven books <laughs> and eight movies. And I then some, and then some. Yeah, we, just, we never anticipated that. And I think anyone who tells you that they, oh, I knew all along, they're lying. I mean, no one knew <laughs> that it was going to go on that scale for that long and have the longevity that, it's, that it had back then and even now. Mm -hmm. um, and so, I, I, to answer the question, I mean, it just seems to. It just seems to keep getting stronger and stronger. And, you know, the books are timeless, I think. Yeah. The story is, you know, good versus evil. And, about love and friendship and, and fantasy and magic and yeah and 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 and, and this and you know joe did a wonderful thing where there's actually a lot of uh contrasts to the real world as well and you know whenever there's there's, there's dark times in the history of humanity you know the, she's reflected a lot of that in, in the books mm -hmm. and you know we see it now maybe possibly coming back and she so the books i think still have a place absolutely now um and the films i meet people who weren't even born when the we, first ones we, came yeah, out. Yeah, and, and they, people just seem to love it, and it just doesn't seem to be going away. And now with the new, the new series of films out, I don't see any reason why it will for a, for a long time. I think it's just going to go from strength to strength. Yeah, my 16-year-old niece is, I mean, word for word obsessed and loves it. Her mother cried the first time they came here for right. the original Harry Potter opening. And it's, it's all age groups, it's across. I mean, look out this window, you see people walking by. Well, not Beetlejuice, <laughs> but you can see, you know, young, old, yeah. all across in their cloaks and carrying their wands. Absolutely. I'm just so excited about this weekend. It really does, um, like, go across all demographics. Um, you know, young, old, all races, um, you know, all genders. It's just there's, there's something in there for everyone. Because I think that the stories are very... They're very human stories, mm -hmm. um, as, I, as I alluded to earlier with the, you know, the, the good versus evil. It's, yeah. it's, it's a story that everyone from across the world can all appreciate and, and buy into. 
um, and lose themselves in. And so it just brings what I actually really enjoy is going around, you know, being just coming from a small town in England, never expecting that people in China or you oh, know, Australia right. would, would ever know who I was. They might be a fan of my work. And so mm-hmm. it's one wonderful thing that Harry Potter has done that has just brought the world like so close together over one fandom. It's just, it's, uh, it's amazing. That is really cool. So what's next for you, Matthew Lewis? Not Neville Longbottom, but you, yourself. You, you me, you me. Um, well, I just, um, I finished a few bits and bobs last year. Um, finally got rid of my moustache that I had for eight years. <laughs> uh, eight, eight months. Congratulations. Eight months. Um, I was filming a, a TV show. I was playing a Victorian policeman. Oh, yeah. So the handlebars? Yeah, I had a big, these big mutton chop sideburns, <laughs> moustache. Um, the final series of that will be on uh, BBC America sometime this year. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be on. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just starting the new year, and uh, I've got a few scripts that I'm reading at the minute, and uh, looking at what to do. I've kind of took a bit of time off last year because I did a play, yeah. which is pretty intense for about three months. I just said, can I just have Christmas and not do anything? <laughs> um, but now it's January, I need to. Stop so when you do get to take time to. off, do you like do you like to get out and like concerts and music, or do you like get out and experience? Yeah, yeah, sure. Who I mean, are you into? Like. Turn me on to a band that maybe I don't know about. Oh, I mean, I imagine you'll probably know about them, but um, <laughs> I mean, I'm terrible because I don't. I think anything after like 2004, mm-hmm. probably don't know anything about it. I don't really listen to too Intriguing. much of modern stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah but better. um, but I mean, Arctic Monkeys are probably a band that is still releasing oh, music yeah. now that I that I I love. Like, then if I was going to buy a record now, it would have to be either them or maybe maybe Noel Gallagher. Um, of some of the solo stuff, but um, I still haven't decided if I'm okay with high flying birds or if I just keep hoping for that reunion that's never going to happen. But I yeah, I mean, music. it's it's no, I mean, I've seen Oasis three times, um, and that was opening up for you too on the Joshua Tree tour. Oh, did really? No, I didn't know that. Maybe you should take advantage of some of your free time and, see and go see one of those concerts. That. Yeah, absolutely. Matthew Lewis, thank you so much for coming by and hanging out here in the Orlando, our Universal Orlando studio with us. I know you got a super busy weekend. Thank you for being a part of the celebration of Harry Potter My and pleasure. have so much fun with the craziness that you're about to Oh, I'm sure I will. I'm and sure ride that Hulk. Yeah, I'm going straight. Can we go there now? <laughs> <laughs>